With the official release of Super Mario Maker 2 less than a month away now, the hype is getting stronger and stronger. I keep thinking about what will be the first thing I will do in the game, what will be the first level I will create, and how far I will be able to go in endless mode. While I cannot keep thinking about it, I compile a list of the 10 features I look forward to the most in Super Mario Maker 2. So hit that like button and let's go ahead with the list in no particular order. Slopes. The number one most requested feature in the original Super Mario Maker is finally making its debut in Super Mario Maker 2. It's no wonder why Nintendo decided to show this feature first in the initial Nintendo Direct, the fans really wanted it. This new tool will make the levels way more fluid in terms of design and we will be able to gain a lot of momentum from sliding down the slopes. This is probably the most important innovation in level creating and a huge step up for le the level creators. Slopes will probably be used in all sorts of level types including traditional and challenging levels. Ready to slide Mario? Snake blocks. While snake blocks were technically possible to fit in Super Mario Maker, you needed to actually work on a really elaborate setup to make it work. And let's be honest. It was kinda limited. With Super Mario Maker 2, we'll be able to predetermine a trajectory and make obstacles around it, which opens a lot of possibilities. We can even control the speed of the snake blocks and the length of it, which make classic levels from Super Mario World now completely possible. With all the other tools available to us in Mario Maker 2, I cannot see what creators do with the snake blocks. Talking about other tools, on and off switches. This is probably the feature I'm most excited about personally. I actually watch and play a lot of Super Mario World run max, on and off switches are actually really well used in those. With the combination of the seesaw or even the snake blocks that we saw earlier, this new feature will be an absolute blast to play with. The switches cannot be only linked to blocks, they can actually be linked to tracks or even control conveyor belts directions. Be ready to see this feature in a lot of harder Kaizal levels, I can already tell that this tool will be used a lot. Custom and Vertical Scrolls A huge limitation we had in the original Super Mario Maker was the ability to make vertical levels and custom scrolls. It's now possible in Super Mario Maker 2. You can now decide where the scroll starts to move up and when it starts to move down, which will be perfect for vertical levels or even to hide some secrets. There's probably a couple of limitations here, but we could even make full vertical levels, just like in the original Super Mario Bros 3 on the NES. Be prepared to seek some custom scrolls intro levels, I'm sure creators will use that to their advantage. More ways to die, right? Clear conditions and level objectives. This is huge, I mean huge. No more only reaching the end of the level in Super Mario Maker 2. We can now have clear conditions and custom level objectives. There's basically three categories that we know of right now from the direct. Action objectives. Basically something Mario needs to do. The example from the direct were don't take any damage and don't touch the ground, but I'm sure there will be more than that in the final product. Parts objectives. The example shown in the direct concerns killing a set numbers of enemies, collecting a set amount of coins or collecting one-ups, but once again, I'm sure the possibilities will be way more than that. Status objectives. You need to finish the level with a specific status like being big Mario, having a specific power up or even finishing in a cloud. It's all speculation right now, but I'm sure Nintendo will be creative on this one. Story mode. This is where Super Mario Maker 2 feels like the complete package. The original Super Mario Maker didn't include a proper story mode which I think was a miss opportunity. Featuring 100 levels created by Nintendo, this is the perfect place for people that never played the original game to learn more about the mechanics and different playstyles. Do we need to actually play story mode to unlock stuff in the creator side of the game? Is there any unlockables or rewards for completing all the levels and rebuilding Princess Peach Castle? Only time will tell. Personally, this is probably the first place I'm gonna jump into on release day. Moon and Night Teams. This feature was announced out of nowhere for me and I'm really excited about it. We can now basically switch from day to night team in a heartbeat in the level creation side. 
For example, the angry sun which kills you in the day cycle can now ch be changed to moon which actually helps you. There are all sorts of variants that we saw in the trailer, including low gravity, sandstorm wind effect, with slippery surfaces, poison or rotten mushrooms or even inverted gameplay. While it remains a little bit unclear if we can use a night and day team at the same time in different sections during the same level, I can see this feature getting used a lot in the future. This is definitely a game changer. New music. Let's be honest, for veterans of the original Super Mario Maker, we are extremely tired of the music. This is why new music for different themes and some remixes by Koji Kondo are more than welcome. I cannot wait to hum my favorite music from the game while dying a hundred or more times. Judge for yourself, you won't be disappointed. Water level. Except for one or two players, we all hate water levels with passion. But what about a mix between a normal and a water level? This is now possible in Super Mario Maker 2. The water can now be brought to different heights, which could be used in a lot of different ways. Also, you can make the height rising or lowering, and you can even play with the speed of it. I really think this is the future that will change a popular opinion on water levels, or maybe make it worse. Super Mario 3D World. Last but not the least, Super Mario 3D World game style. I'm gonna be honest, for someone that never played the original 3D World game, this will be a new playground for me. New text to learn, new mechanics to master, and more fun to have. Nintendo really put a lot of energy and efforts on this style with a huge amount of exclusive items for 3D World. I really hope we see great levels in this one. There's way too many exclusive items to cover here on such a short video, but with all the tools available to the creators, we can expect great things from it. And this style is absolutely gorgeous. Anyone with me on this one? There it is, my friends. My personal list of the 10 features I look forward the most in Super Mario Maker 2. Does your list look similar to mine? Did I miss something? Are you mad at me for forgetting your favorite feature? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That wraps things up for now, so as always don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Super Mario Maker gameplay videos, live streams and coverage. The hype is real.